is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just said, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. I got to change that promo. Tommy's two years old. <laughs> Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and to express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 243, NASDAQ up 44, SP's down 21. Gold, gold contract down $3.90, trading at 2,000 flat. You get silver up 3 cents, $25.12 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down 280, trading $74.30 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down six ticks, trading 115.19. The 30 year down 18 at 131.26 in King Dollar. King Dollar down 401 ticks, trading 101.462. The euro is out here at 110. The yen is at 133. And the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a market that wants lower price. You know, we've really had a sideways market out here today. Not too much action. You had it going back and forth about, uh, eh, I don't know, about a couple hours ago, the S&P gave it up. Uh, bottom line is that what you have here is that the SPY is at uh, 404. That thing wants to get run down to the lower end of this consolidation that we have right here is which is the 380 mark we go into the ndx 100 this is the cool one now because the reality is is that if the market was going to go the bottom line had every chance to go out here today because you had microsoft come out with numbers microsoft up about 20 bucks google came out google couldn't hold price google has a 50 billion dollar buyback and it couldn't hold price that folks <laughs> says quite a bit Microsoft, I mean, uh, the, the Q's, the Q's got the 314.93, couldn't hold price. Closing in the bar again, that's saying the, the Q's want to run down to this, uh, God, I need better glasses, 285, and right now you're at 311. We're going to go to the dollar next. Why the dollar? Because the dollar's still running things out here, folks. If we go to the dollar, what you're going to see out here is that when we were getting smoked yesterday on the way down, uh, what we had is this, is that you had the dollar basically not moving a huge amount, but we, we, moved, uh, we moved 800 ticks, okay? And then today it gave it up totally. And what I had just said in the update, this is how bottoms are actually made, though. And when I say a bottom, I just expect the counter turn bounce again. You know, it's, your benchmark here is that 101.546. That's where we came off the last bottom. That's not the low, but that's where the strength came in. You got up to the 106 area. You, you come all the way back down to the 100 area. And this is just deviant enough that that's telling me this wants to still go. So we'll see where the whole thing's going to shake out. And, you know, we have two more days in the week. And I expect you're still going to have some good volatility. The bond market... 1.5 million contracts out here. That's a lot of contract volume, folks, okay? This bond market looks like it's going to do an ABC structure up, meaning higher price, lower yield. 
and the volume's not bad out here today either. Yesterday we did 1.7 million contracts, today we did 1.5. And then if we go to the gold contract, gold's holding up big time. Gold has done 200,000 contracts today, 200, two, 226. And you don't have much movement. This is when it's subtle though, the bottom line. Gold, that's telling me that, you know, no matter what the dollar wants to do, this looks to me like gold still wants to go, which is pretty wild. We go into the silver contract. We take a look at the silver contract. Inside the silver contract right now, that's holding up too. 52,000 contracts, that's good contract. And then if we go to the bank, FRC, okay? Bottom line, this, this one here, this, I can't wait to hear what the real story is on this. So picture this, Fresh Republic, folks, okay? This is down another $2.48. The Federal Reserve, bottom line, they just leaked the story that, you know, so picture this, two days ago, the stock was at $16. We're at $5.62. Well, the Fed just leaked the story that they're thinking of shutting the window on them, okay? And the story goes like this, okay? You gotta, you gotta check this out, because this doesn't, doesn't come out of nowhere. U.S. bank regulators are weighing the prospect of downgrading their private assessment of First Republic Bank, a move that may curb the troubled firm's access to their lending facilities. Okay, that says it all. And then, you know, the, the, it goes on saying, okay, they haven't done it yet, and they don't know the person that said this, and guess what? They leaked the story because there's something that's happening in FR FRC, First Republic, that actually doesn't make any sense at all. We know that they're bankrupt, okay? And they... This just keeps getting cut in half day after day after day. The amount of money that's going to be lost, I mean, Tom was talking about this morning, would you really keep your money in this thing? That, like, it doesn't even make any sense. Um, so there's something happening here, and, and I suspect what, you, what we really have there is, is the aspect of that's what's people getting nervous, and that's why you saw that market basically turn around, you know, um, noon. And I think, I think the nervousness, folks, actually has to do with incompetence, <laughs> okay? Because there's either a connection into First Republic, meaning to other banks, that the market can get hit. There's something that's there, man. It just doesn't make any sense. Picture it. Signature Bank, they took out in, what, 24 hours, 48 hours? This, is, this has been, what day is this? This is what we're talking about. We're going on like a couple months. What? Yeah. You, you, we're going, this starts falling apart. February 7th. February? Yeah, February 7th. No, March 7th. March 7th. South Fall and Pop, March 7th. Okay? That doesn't even make any sense. Okay? That's, that's saying that, you know, there's, uh, there's something else that's there. But I guess what? If this is in business tomorrow, I suspect it's going to get caught in half again and again and again. <laughs> Dow. Dow Industrials right now. Down 218, NASDAQ's up 57, SP's down 16. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down at 249. NASDAQ is up 47. S&Ps are off 20. Let's go uh, FRC. I want to see. We're going to see who's going to take a beat in here, man. PHDC. Meaning, we'll pull this up. I want to see who's bailing here. Well, everyone should be bailing. Okay, latest changes. We have no buys, that's for sure. Okay, here's the cells. 331. They're all out here. So you get 331, 331. All these 331s are... People bailed out. People. Let's see if anyone is crazy enough to buy. No one's been crazy enough to buy. Diamond Hill Management, whoever that is. Fidelity... Got a million shares. They're outside of Diamond Capital. That's so Diamond Capital. That's a a mutual fund. Fidelity. I, I suspect the same mutual funds. Yeah, you get Fidelity. Oh, actually, <laughs> it's Fidelity. Yeah, there's a mutual funds. Bermuda and Luxembourg. Pretty wild, man. Let's go to the oil market, take a look at the oil market. That's coming down on volume. They hit this pretty good out here today. You got 458,000 contracts. You can see what happens, folks, is that when you have a consolidation, the cool thing about long, longer consolidations is that you have a benchmark, you know, which you're going against. And, and oil's been in a consolidation now for five and a half months. And you can see, when you fail a consolidation at the highs, the bottom line, you're going to go to the lows. Um, and, you know, oil, you know, has always traded in a very large consolidation. You know, so the volume blew out of this today. It's an ABC down. Your A point on this is uh, 83. Your B point is 76. So we got, let me see, 76, 72. Yeah, 83. About six and a half dollars. That's going to get you to the 73 level. But look, look, this is going to be down at the lows. Let me pull up. I'm going to do a. I'll pull this back a bit. Oh, look at this. What is that down there? We'll get our mind blows. Yeah, oil's going to. This is going to be wild, man. So. Your next stop in oil is 70 bucks. 
You break 70 and you're going to go to 66. Look at this is going to be wild, man. I mean, this could be some heavy destruction. Let me pull this up. Yeah. Yeah, if you if you go back, if you get back into the the sixty-six dollar area, the next oh man, <laughs> this could be a replay. The next if you get back into the sixty-six dollar area, the next replay on that, folks, gets you actually down to about the forty-nine dollar area, which is just unbelievable, actually. You know what I'm saying? There's no doubt. Okay, how did I do this? I know I gotta uh, who's on the line? Jose, what's hey, going on, Tom. brother? Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Not too bad. Hey, I've been miserable for 10 days. I never touch Microsoft. Hardly ever. Once every 10 years, I'll mess with it. I've been, for 10 days, I've been agonizing watching this thing go down, nickel and diming it every day. Miserable. Long the call, feeling trapped. Just miserable. And, uh... And then 4 o'clock yesterday, knowing the earnings are coming, I poured myself a stiff drink, Country Time Lemonade, and I braced myself for impact. And I, what a surprise. What a surprise. You did. And you got an yeah. ABC up. This is an ABC What's up. That? So you got. Yeah, yeah. Yep. At 325 is the number. Wow. Let, let, let me just do this number that. again. Just give one second, Jose. One second. 291. I just want to, I was, did this early before. I got on. So. 41, 51. We, we, we got a little pullback coming right here, though. Yeah, 325 is the ABC up. Yeah, it could. Listen, you can fill the gap first, but 325 is the number. Where is the gap going to get filled on the pullback? I'm guessing 294. Um, you I can, mean, they're loving this stock now with this AI nonsense. Yeah, no, I'm with you. It can go to 281. Wow, that, that oh, wow, okay. But most times like when you have something this strong, Jose, I suspect it's going to go up for a bit before it fills that gap, man. You know, because even on the weekly, say I just put this on a weekly, so it's going to be an ABC up on the weekly too. And you can see the strength. This is going to be the second big sign of strength that it's had. You know? I got you, yeah. So yeah. That's, um, that's saying it's going to be strong. This is, gonna, this is a powerhouse, and I suspect it's going to get even more powerful. You know, the, Bing is going to start eating, you know, Google's lunch here. That's what it looks like. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Uh, that's what they're saying. Uh, hey, always an interesting question. The amount of, it, fascinating to me anyway, the amount of homes that are missing in this country that need to be filled. In other words, Realtor.com has the number at about 15 and a half million number of single family homes needed. But but here's the contrast. The Fannie Mae does the same report and says the number is four four million homes. Why why is the number so drastically different? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? I don't. You know um, what's what's? I think what you're going to see in the future is that you know this is happening little by little. There's going to be less single family homes. You know, just because, hey, listen, everyone wants to live in cities or near cities. And, you know, a single-family home is expensive. That's the bottom line. Say the, first you get the yeah. land, then you get the home. You know, I mean, we're lucky yeah. in Florida. There's still plenty of land. But realistically, I think in the bigger picture, that's how these things are going to shake out. You know, so. Yeah. Hey, Tom, one other question. Have you ever done a leaseback? Are you familiar with them? And how do... Is it wise to do a lease back with an investor? Within an investor, is that dangerous? Um, You're it, familiar with lease back? Yeah, yeah. No, I am. It depends on how yeah. much you get up right. front. Okay, up front. That's you know. Okay, and I then always try to the get market, the market rate of for rent. I try to get the market rate plus another couple months. If they can normally come up with that, you're in pretty good shape. Do you know what I'm saying? Because that's really tough yeah. to do. In general, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Okay, Cooking. very good. Uh, you were right on the money last Friday when you said uh, Microsoft rejected lower price. Yeah. Yahoo! I love it. Cooking, brother. Have a great one, Thank man. You. Have a safe one. Dow, Dow Industrials is down 265, Nasdaq's up 48, SP's off 22. And hey, folks, do me a, you folks that are in Maine, I forget, I forget who the listener is, right? Can, 
if you guys are in Maine, who's ever up in Portland or wherever, where all those lobsters are, can you give me a text? Uh, I mean, uh, an email, ob1 at tfnn, um, because uh, I'm on the lobster hunt here. <laughs> uh, I know. Who knows? You know, I can't get this. Uh, you know, because I I started out like in the food business, in the hustling on the street business, folks, I can't get it out of my blood. That's the bottom line, I can't. And what's happening in St. Pete, I actually own all the land on First Avenue South, which is the only land left downtown. So I'm trying to find some good lobster for good lobster rolls, because the bottom line is, is that that is a good business. <laughs> Stay right there, we'll come right back. <laughs> The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is down 249. You get the NASDAQ up 56. S&Ps are down 19. Let's go uh, inside the NDX 100 and see the strength versus the weakness. And um, we got Datadog up 11%. Uh, Lucid is up 8.3. Uh, you got Microsoft up 7.3. Taken away from it. Now, check this out, man. You, well, you got Activision down 11%. Uh, you have, what is this? Uh, Old Dominion. Oh, we're going to look at that. That's down 10%. Marriott's down 4.5%. Enphase. This is like something else, man. Okay? This baby here. So the low... Now, they manufacture solar equipment. The low is 128, the high is 333. This thing just got blown out of the water. I mean, you talk about a gap down. 
And this is a monster ABC down now. So check this out. This is, this is unbelievable, actually. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, so this is 338. Oh, my God. That's, I'm not even going to do the numbers because this is one of these that you do an ABC down, they're out of business, but that's not going to happen. So this is going to, oh, I see what it's going to run to, unreal. Okay. So the, the bottom of the consolidation is 111. Yeah, this had a high of one, three, no, it's three, 339. So 339 straight down to 164. That's some damage, man. That's some heavy damage. What was the other one I was, oh, I know. Uh, let's look at Marriott, because Marriott, you know, they, they talk about hotel rooms, and hotel rooms are expensive, man. And Marriott seems to flag almost every one of them, so let's see what they had to say here. Not much. They're just selling it, man. Okay, let's look at this for a second. It's down on volume. Someone's blowing this thing out. Well, it's close to highs anyway, but someone's blowing that thing out. There's no doubt about it. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness out here. Point-wise, Microsoft's going to be the king on this one. It should be anyway. Yeah, Microsoft's putting 133 positive points in the Dow. Boeing's putting 10. You have, uh, that's about it. Taken away from it, we have uh, United Health minus... 66, Home Depot minus 56, Amgen 40, Honeywell 35. It's kind of, that's kind of spread right across the, um, the Dow Industrials. Some of the higher volume equities out here. You got Apple flat. We have Verizon down 34 cents. JP Morgan, well, look at that. That's down 340. Chevron's off 347. Boeing's up a buck and a half. Disney's down a buck twenty. Amgen's off six bucks. Home Depot's down eight. United Health's down nine. Okay, so let's go to JP Morgan first. Oh, look at that. This this selling the banks, yeah. And JP Morgan, that is that is the gap that wants to get filled. It's in the gap now. The gap, the top, of the top of that gap was the uh, 134.90 area. The bottom of that gap is the uh, 126 area. Uh, let's see what Amazon's doing. I believe Amazon's trying to get to that swing point. Yeah, it's up 250. That, that swing point we've been talking about on Amazon, that swings 108 to 114. Right now you're at 105. The uh, Home Depot... So that's down eight bucks. That has some volume. Okay, this thing's, see, you know, there's a delayed, you know, because of the interest rate structure, folks, we've had like a, a good, you know, it takes nine months a year for this, this thing to start happening. But Home Depot, same deal. This is, this thing wants to run down to that 264, you're at 287. Lowe's is probably the same setup. Yeah, that's down five bucks. And they are coming out the 23rd. Now let's go see the home builders. So we take a look at Toll. These, these are hanging at highs. But I can tell you this this is what happened in 2007. This is why I'm watching these home builders so close. What happened in 2007 is that the home builders made one last run and then gave it up now as when jose was just calling there's, there's a huge difference right now there's, there's no doubt about that meaning you know we don't have as much fraud not even close either i mean in the market i mean 2000 you know 2000 to 2007 the amount of fraud in the real estate market and the mortgage market was extraordinary i mean it's amazing that people didn't go to jail but they didn't um but anyway that there's a whole different ball game, but you know what you do have is that I mean, you know, when interest rate structures are this high, 
it would make sense that you're not going to move as many houses. Now, that being said, we know that, you know, people are moving to Florida. So there's, there's definitely parts of the United States that people are moving out of and other parts of the United States that people are moving into. And the more publicity that that happens, meaning uh, particularly the tax structure, you know, I can see that. And, you know, but Toll Brothers, you know, Lennar, let me pull up Lennar. Because Toll Brothers is big in Florida, but Lennar is a monster in Florida. Um, yeah, see the difference is Lennar's almost at its highs, too. Hey, we'll see where it shakes out. Let's go to Google because Google couldn't hold price out here today. And... That's with saying they're going to do a $50 billion buyback. That's about as intense as you can get, folks, okay? You know, that bottom line should have been hung up. And now what you're going to get, just like we were talking about yesterday, what Google had done, it got over the high of two months ago. I got a monthly up here. Got over the high of last month, and you're actually underneath it. That is a, that is a symbol that... This is, how, this is amazing, man. This is going to blow my mind. I mean, Google can get out of $70. You know, it, it, what, what may happen here, folks, is that the AI generation just may get rid of the search generation. Because this is what the difference is. Picture what the difference is. Is that Google makes all its money with advertising, right? And what ends up happening is that what we do is that we search, right, for a certain thing. Okay, so it's a word type of search, right? Well, AI is a whole different ballgame. Because what ends up happening with AI is that the better you are at prompting AI, the more that you're going to get, not just a search, you're going to get your full answer, man. So the difference is, even on an AI, they're not going to be able to throw as much advertising at you on an AI. I suspect at some point they'll probably figure, but you get the gist of it. Because you're getting your full answer versus, okay, what does this mean? What does this mean? Well, that's what that means on this side. Well, that's not how it works. You can say, not only what does this mean, and the, the key to AI, and this is what you want to wrap your head around, is that we all have to be, get really well at prompting. It's all about prompting. It's all about asking the question with enough words inside it, and you can double up those, triple up those questions. Dow's down 289, Nasdaq's up 48, S&P's down 23. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 280. NASDAQ's up 47. S&P's off 23. Uh, Steve Bannon, man, he must be saying his prayers right now because, uh, bottom line, he had that uh, fund build the wall. And uh, that's where Trump had pardoned him. And two of his associates just got four years in the can, in the federal can. <laughs> Wild, man. I mean, can you imagine? Imagine being the other two, right? You all did the same thing. One gets pardoned, two don't. And bye-bye. See you later. Oh, that, that's something else, man. And what, what the deal was, they all were saying that they would never take a dime. And, of course, that, that wasn't the fact. And they did... The, 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 the two that just got in the can, it's not that they even took that much. It, well, at least it doesn't say it. They raised $25 million. Um, it looks like they only took three hundred fifty grand. Imagine going to three hundred fifty grand and going to the can for four years, man. There's probably more to it, but the bottom line is that you get the gist of it. Um, wild. Let's go take a look at the uh, GDX out here. So we take a look at the GDX, and this one here, you're down 46 cents today. Okay, it's not bad. It's like almost like a lost in golf. When you start it high, you're going to close low up. You get light volume. No big deal. The XAU. And then we're going to go to Newmont because Newmont's coming out with its numbers tomorrow morning, folks. So the XAU. I'm going to look how this pulled back in volume the last couple of days. Yeah, that's light volume. So Newmont. New, now, Newmont, bottom line, you know, last time they came out with their numbers, it got smoked. The low is 37, the high is 74. They are going to be looking to do $2.8 to the top line and $0.33 cents to the bottom line. Now, what's intriguing about this, right, you can see why Newmont was a dog because gold's at 2000 and their gross numbers per quarter are going down, you know? What I didn't realize with, with Newmont is that somehow there's a couple big mines in the United Kingdom. <laughs> Either that or it's still something that the United Kingdom still owns after owning the world. Because they do $8.3 billion in the United Kingdom. They only do $24 million in the United States. So that means that they're not in Nevada that much. That being said, let's see how this thing is setting up. Okay, so now what will happen because Newmont is the largest weighting structure in the NDX, I mean in the XAU, in the HUI, and the GDX, this is going to affect all three of those. Now, the setup doesn't look bad. Yeah, it really doesn't. No, this doesn't look bad. I mean, yeah, this looks to me like you might oscillate a little, but I don't, I don't see this getting smoked. 40, well, 47 to 43. Be, yeah. yeah, 43 wouldn't be looking that good. We could go to 43. 43.35. As long as, it, as long as there's lighter volume, it's into 43.35, it wouldn't be a big deal. 
Let's go take a look at a couple of streamers, Royal Gold in particular. So see, Royal got, Royal got hit. Royal's going to take a bit to recover that downdraft from last week. That was a big downdraft. It, it tested. This is, if you want to see how, if you're bullish a stock and you want, and you're looking for a test, this is the type of test that you're looking for, meaning the first day you come out with these numbers, right? You went south in a monster way. You did 135, 138 to 130, right? And then the following day, now we did that with 900 mil, mil, nine, nine a weekly, 900,000 shares. Then the next day, you rejected it with 700,000. That's what you like to see right away. Because if you get it right away, folks, that's saying right off the bat, guess what? There's no more sellers down there. And it hasn't got back inside its lower range. Its lower range, Newmont would be 131. If we go take a look at Barrick, that's the second largest gold stock in the world. This is coming out with numbers on the, on the 23rd. Now they are looking to do, look at this. See, this is, gonna, this is so intriguing. They're catching up with uh, Newmont. You see these numbers? Bar Newmont plans on doing 2.8. Barrick's plans on doing 2.7. And then next quarter, 3 billion. Now, they don't bring as much money to the bottom line, though. That's, that's the difference. Newmont is bringing 44 cents to the bottom line. This is bringing 12. Yeah, but that's, a, no, it's price differential. No, no, this is, still, that's just a price differential. That could be the same. Yeah, definitely, because this is a much better chart, too. Let me take a look at this. Yeah, this still wants higher price. And then if we go to Anglo Ashante, this thing's been strong like bull. The lows, 1194, the highs, 28. Now, Anglo Ashante only comes out with the numbers twice a year, folks, okay? This is going to be in Rand, too. 2.3 billion they're looking for. Rand dollars and 52 cents to the bottom line. And this has to do with Rand dollars simultaneously. You can see this thing doesn't want to crack, man. We put this on a monthly. Yeah, see, we put this on a monthly. Well, it's going to need a little, a little more volume, actually. So this is going to consolidate a little bit more. This is going to. So, so watch this. Last month we did eighty-nine million, but we're coming into one hundred and two. This month we've done sixty-two. That's not good, okay? So this is telling me that this is gonna consolidate a bit on the short term. On the larger term, this equity wants to run up to the next swing point, which is that 30, 38 bucks. What it's done thus far has been a nice base. Yeah, it's already done up to, it already went to the .618. Always remember something, that the longer the, the base that you have, either at the bottom or at the top. If it's at the bottom, you have a longer base, the higher you're gonna go. When it's at the top and you have a long top, the lower it's gonna go because the amount of distribution at the top has taken place. The reason it goes so high at the, when you have a long base at the bottom is that the accumulation has been so large and so long that you have really strong holders at very inexpensive prices. That's, that's, that's how it shakes out. We gotta take a look at the uh, NVIDIA, NVDA. This thing won't give it up, but it's close. This thing's gonna give it up, just not ready yet. <laughs> so you take a look at NVIDIA. You can see yesterday, you know, came down with volume, failed on price today, but you know, bottom line is still up $6. And let's just see, I'm curious as to, yeah, you still, see, this is cool. There's, a, there's still only a 1.4% shot position in NVIDIA. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrial's down 272. NASDAQ's up 39. S&P's off 21. We'll come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is the down 230. Nasdaq's up 47. S&Ps are up 19. And folks, if you do, uh, you do get a good trade going, uh, Tiffany's is reopening uh, bottom line in New York City. They just did a three-year reno. And uh, so check this out. On the 10th floor, so they have 10 floors, right? And this will be a good trade, man. <laughs> On the 10th floor, uh, they're two biggest pieces. Check this out. 106 carat dime carat Color, colorless diamond in an 80 carat flawless empire diamond. Now they both were sourced in Botswana. They don't tell you the price. Prices are upon request. That is something else. So let's go take a look at the volume out here. We did out here today you got a sideways market really. Dow's pulled down, but you got a sideways market. So NYSE is gonna do about, that'll do about 850 million inside the composite. Composite is going to do, no, the composite is going to have money. The, the composite is going to be, so this is going to be, I'll pull this up. Yeah, the composite is going to do, actually, the composite is going to, now watch this. The composite is up 64, but it couldn't take the high out of yesterday. So this is actually a down day in the composite with expanding volume, which is a mind blower. You know, let's, let's look at this. Yep, that's saying lower prices are coming at you. See this? We've already done what we did yesterday, 4.8 billion, 
and they'll throw a couple hundred million into the close. So that is, it's very subtle, but that's, that's how you read that when you're looking at price and volume. We go take a look at the uh, SPY and what you have inside the SPY out here. We got 66 million. That's it's not bigger than yesterday, but that's still volume. That's higher than they, they were at the highs. And the, the, the Qs are the same deal. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Yeah, look at him, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market.